to see the first close-up images of a world never before known. This moment is one of the greatest joys in the life of a planetary scientist. In the early morning hours of July 9, 1979, on the real-time television monitors at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, we began to learn about a world called Europa. These are the modern explorers, men and women trained in astronomy, physics, geology, or engineering. Many of them have devoted five to eight years to this single mission. Cassin's model for Europa says that you, if you started off with it liquid, you could probably pump in enough energy to keep it liquid. Let's see. So the, appeal, the, the Cassin thing said that in order for there to be enough heating going on, you sort of had to start the heating before Europa basically uh, cool off, oh, as I recall. Yeah, but Gene, what about the relief from the cracks? Many, Shouldn't the cracks and yield and flow also? they got to sure, be, they they be, be renewed. The Io and Europa, there's a twin, a pair there, and then there's a pair out of Ganymede's cluster. You can't look at the surface of a world so different from ours without wondering how both were made. Just rotate it out a little bit. Right. You see, you see the, the yeah. Voyager presented us with six new worlds in the Jupiter system alone. Maybe. The more you learn about other worlds, the better you understand our own. We speculate, criticize, argue, calculate, reflect, and wonder. We return again and again to the astonishing data. And slowly, we begin to understand.